Hi, this is Michael Bradshaw. Today we're looking at an InfoPrint 4100, and this today's tech tip will also work on an InfoPrint 4000. The issue we're having is we have a buildup of toner along our corona wires on the inside of the assemblies, and uh, one of the causes of that issue could be a defective seal on your cyclone blower. Before we get started, you need to remove this plug and run your drum cycle and feel the amount of vacuum that you have through this hole right here. You should have some, not a whole lot, but enough where you can hear airflow going through there. So let's go to the back and we'll show you where the cyclone blower is. We're now on the back of the machine. And behind this panel right here would be the cyclone blower. You'll remove these two screws and you'll loosen that one and that one and this panel will come off. And behind that plate right there, you will see one of these assemblies. Before you remove this assembly, make sure you disconnect power from your machine. Once power is disconnected, you can remove this assembly without being electrocuted. Um, to remove this uh, assembly, there's four four millimeter screws, one here, one here, one down here, and one over here. Once you got the screws disconnected, disconnect your sensor and disconnect your two motor cables and then this will fall out. Be careful, it is very heavy. And if we go around to the back of the cart here, this is an example of what a bad seal looks like. If you look at it, you can see the impression of where it was mounted inside the machine and right here, this seal gets hard and brittle and it uh, causes a leak right here and there goes your vacuum that you felt on the front of the machine. To take this seal off, you use a scraper or a razor blade or something and basically it'll end up being something like this. This is not all the way clean, but you'll continue cleaning this until you're down to bare metal surface and then you will put a new seal on, which comes to you like this. You'll pop the center out, you'll remove the backing and just adhere it to the assembly. Once, you're assemb once you got it like this, this is what a completed assembly looks like, and then you'll just go and reinstall it back into your machine. Whenever you go to put it in, it'll be a little tough to put it in because that impression there that where it's going to press onto the seal right here, it's going to be a little tough. So you just screw it in, it'll be fine, it'll seat itself. Make sure you plug in your, connect or your, motor to your, your connectors to your motor and also your uh, connector for your sensor. Put your uh, panel back on, reapply power, and turn your machine on. When you turn your machine back on, as it's going through its cycle, you'll be able to pull this plug right here and you should get a better vacuum than what you had once before. And that is our tech tip for the for today. And uh, if you want to order this part, the part number is a 53F 1987-SEAL, and you can find that at BradshawGroup.com.